Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So, I've got an unbagging to do. And I've made a bobo. -bo. <laughs> so, um, yeah, if you remember a couple of months back, I was doing a how to destroy a canvas and looking at um, double sided tape canvases that come on a foam roller, whether you can roll them back up whether it destroys the canvas or whatever. And I wanted to follow through a little bit more with that because we found that rolling it inwards um, actually stretched the canvas and took the creases out of it. So I wanted to get some more to just have another play and see how we got on. So I went looking on AliExpress because most of their canvases do come um, on double-sided tape. And I found two that were only £1.65 each. So I think I paid just over £4 with tax taxes and everything added. Um, and I thought, you know, I don't mind for a couple of pounds just having a play with the canvas um, and seeing how it goes. And these have arrived. <laughs> so... The canvases that I ordered that I didn't particularly want the canvases, I just wanted the double sided tape canvases. Um, and I ordered them in squares, have both come rounds, pod glue. <laughs> <laughs> so famous last words. Um, yeah, okay, so they're 30 by 40, and uh. Yeah, the pod glue, so I can't continue my experiment with these, so I'll have to go hunting for some others. I'll be, I did think in my stash, um, I have got some pod glue, and there's a couple that I actually got refunds on, because when they came, the canvases were in such a state that I said, oh, I'm not paying for these, they can have them back, but anyway, they just refunded me the money. So I might use those instead, so use an older canvas. So my trying to destroy a double-sided tape canvas and making uh, my own pod glue canvases, that hasn't finished. Um, it's just been on hold while I waited for these, and then they came and they're not right. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look at these anyway and see what we've got. I mean, they're not pictures that I'm going to think, oof, I don't like that and I don't want that one. But uh, there weren't ones that I would have ordered um, as the end game, other than the fact that I wanted them as uh, double-sided tape. Okay, I'll just get rid of that. So let's see what we got. <laughs> Only I could do that. I ordered squares and they've come round. And for £1.65, I'm not going to get in touch with the company and say you sent me the wrong thing because, you know, they are a business and it, it wouldn't be fair. I mean, to be honest, I don't even know how they've managed to send me this for £1.65 all the way from China. Uh, oh, it's all in baggies as well. You know, um, I just don't know how they make any money on them. Uh, maybe they're like a loss leader and they think you'll come back. So anyway, it's got a pen, but wax and a little escape in there. And this one is a dandelion, but it's a dandelion. I think you've probably seen this picture around. Um, there's quite a few companies have this. I think it's just a stock image of a dandelion with the blue. Uh, I think it's like water, that it's sort of like on a, probably a riverbank with a nice pink sky with the sun coming up or going down in the background. Let's see if we can flatten it out a little bit. So it is... Uh, it will just be added to my 30 by 40 stash. At least I haven't already got them. <laughs> oh dear, fun and games. But anyway, just, we just seem to have these things happen to us. Maybe. Never quite close to plan. Not disastrous, but just not to plan. <laughs> look a bit pixelated at the moment but I think we'll be okay you know it's, it's just going to be a nice easy canvas to do I say it's in rounds so give it a quick measure I would think it's going to be about 35 by 25 but we will have a look okay yep we're 25 that way by oh just under well if i flatten it out properly it'll be 35 that way so yeah you just lose that little bit for the edge nice clear 
uh, key code down the side there with DMC numbers, 24 colours. And it's all numbers and letters. And it's 128 and then all letters. Oh no, we do have a, sim oh, a couple of symbols down there. It uh, looks a pretty clear drill field. So I always tend to look at the darker colours for the drill field. It has got guide circles, which I'm not overly keen on because sometimes if you don't get the drill just in the right place, you can see the lines underneath. But it just seems as though it's around the darker colours that you can see it the most. So we may be okay with that. Right, let's have a look at these. So they've all come in little bit sealed bags, which... Is, oh, I can never find the ends of these. Do you think somebody runs a course on where to find them? Or do you think somebody runs a course on how to? Let's fool the person that buys it. They won't be able to open these. I've got them in a nice neat order. <laughs> and I'm not going to let them take them out the bag. Okay. Oh. They look pretty sparkly and nice drills. We've got like a, oh, they're all in uh, number order as well. So I'll try and keep them in order. Got like a honey colour and a sagey green colour. We're back on our food. Oh, we've got all these pinks, three pinks there. Three nice shades of pink to go in your sky there. That'll be pretty. And another sagey green and a hot pink. We've got hot pink, hot pink. Oh, look, the hot pinks are trying to escape. We've got into the bit. Uh, outside the bag but we'll leave them there maybe they'll fully escape oh look, there's another one trying to escape there they must have been in a rush when they did this one they've sealed them and the drills are trying to get out so we've got like an orangey and a brown and a nice little deep wine colour there okay let's just put those back in try and keep them in number order albeit when I kit it up I'll probably just tip them all out and they'll all go in funny order anyway <laughs> And uh, that's like a, oh, it's, like, it's a bit like a jadey green, isn't it? A very dark, mm, bluey green. And is that a 939? Oh, there's actually uh, DMC numbers on the bags as well as the numbers. And uh, a little beige colour there. And a lovely, nice, rich pink. And another browny colour. And another pinky colour. And that's like another sort of very jadey, very deep bluey greens, lovely. All for down here, not quite aquas, the more of a jade type colour. And a fawny colour and another hottish pink. Is it me? There's just seen more than one colour in that bag. Do they look like a mixed colour to you? Well, I think there's mixed colours in there. I think that's not all one colour. Oh, look at that colour. Wow. Oh, I love all these bluey greens. Gorgeous. And another one, look. Oh, oh, got an escapee in there. Look, a blue one's wanted to join that uh, greeny blue party. And then another browny beige colour. And then like a, what's that? Another honey sort of colour. And then another pale brown colour. So yeah, 23, was 24 there then? 23, 22, 24. Oh, I thought we had a colour missing then. <gasps> It's always better to check when you get your canvases, just make sure you have got all your drills. Because if you're anything like me and you don't do your pictures straight away, it's no point in sort of going to a manufacturer a year later and saying, you know that painting I bought off you last year? I only paid £1.65 for it. Well, it had some drills missing. I don't suppose they're going to sell the drills. Okay, so that's canvas number one. And let's have a look at canvas number two. Um, I've been thinking as well, I've seen a few people have done like stash videos. Um, if anybody would like to see my diamond painting stash, then let me know in the comments down below. And I can maybe do a video on uh, showing you my diamond paintings. Goodness me. Come up and see my etchings. <laughs> yeah, uh, see you my diamond paintings. I have a look. Far too many. I am going to be de-stashing. Um, so yeah, if you want to uh, see what I've got in my little stash, then by all means, please leave me a comment. And this one is a stag. Again, I think it's one of those pictures that's been around for a while. But I was more looking at the price than I was looking at the pictures 
albeit I didn't get pictures that I thought, oh no, I definitely don't want to do that one. Uh, this one will probably go to uh, my daughter because uh, she loves stacks. And I don't know whether she's doing much diamond painting. Oh, gosh, it's so uh, hot and stuck at the end here today. Uh, diamond painting at the moment with it being so hot, but certainly coming up to winter and the darker nights when the kids aren't going out so much, then uh, it's nice to just sit and do your diamond paintings. So, and I've managed to put this the wrong way around. So, yeah, just a, a quick tip I have said it before. If you do completely take this clear cover off your diamond painting, make sure you put it back the right way because as you can see, there's a right way and a wrong way. And if you put the cover down the wrong way, look at that, it's taking some of the glue off my canvas. And yeah, you'd think looking at these clear covers that it's the same both sides, but it's not. One side, is to stick to the canvas so it will come up easily and the other side if you put that down as you saw as that had folded itself over it's really difficult to get off and yeah look it's it's ruined the cover <laughs> it's made it all flimsy and uh, yeah it has taken some of the glue off the canvas as well so i'll have to watch out for that one Okay, says it's a 30 by 40 again, and yeah, 25 by 35, yeah. This one is 25 colours, so we've got an extra colour in this one. Nice clear drill field again. Um, look at the darker colours, there's, yeah, there is guide circles on this one as well. Just look there, oops that darker colour there yeah you can see they're all pretty clear um, so yeah no problems with that just me sticking it at the corner there not good so it's funny how it just then goes really flimsy it loses its sort of stiffness um, once it's been rolled the wrong way there so yeah okay not a bad picture same uh, tool kit pen butt and wax and then we'll have a quick look at these drills as well all in little bit sealed bags right that one was over the edge there so haha -ha, you didn't get me on this one i can see that this one's over the edge so let's just have a quick look okay right so we have like a are they in number order that's 20. Oh, they go the other way around. So that's good as I'm looking at them. So we've got a big bag of 3865. Looks like they've been vacuum sealed. And it's quite a few different colours I've wanted to join the uh, creamy white party there. Look, we've got a couple of browns there and there's a couple of greens in there as well. That's a big bag. And then we've got like a brownie colour, mocha colour and a sort of rusty colour and a purpley wine colour. And another rusty brown colour, like a fox colour, that one, isn't it? And a pale blue, that's pretty. And that's like a very pale peach and a slaty type blue. And another sort of browny, sort of wine colour, red wine colour. And a pale grey. There's a lot of different colours in this one. Quite muted, but uh, you wouldn't want a bright pink stag. Or maybe you would. <laughs> each to his own and then we have the sort of orangey colour there and a bright lemony yellow that looks like it's got two different colours in as well maybe it's just my eyes maybe it's just the lighting today nice bright orange and a bright blue and another sort of mocha colour and a little bit uh, sort of pale orange and a deeper grey and a couple of browns and a lovely dark blue there, a gorgeous blue. Okay, and another grey and another sort of burgundy sort of winey colour. A very pale peach, another winey colour. We've got a lot of wine colours in this one. And then another pale green. Okay, so don't look bad drills. Uh, you do need to do the canvas though before uh, you know what your drills are going to be like. Okay, just fold that over as well. So, not quite.
quite the video I was expecting to make. Um, I did think I was going to. <laughs> I did think I was going to be doing one of my experiment type videos and it's just turned into a standard unboxing. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, uh, if you've enjoyed looking at these with me, a thumbs up is always much appreciated. Uh, any comments or suggestions, if you put them in the comments down below. And if you would like to see uh, a stash video, I'd probably have to do it in more than one part because it would be very, very long. I've got a lot. Uh, then again, leave it in the comments. And if you want to subscribe and come back and see what I get up to next, then if you press that subscribe bell and the all notifications bell next to it, you'll be notified when I know my videos come out. And subscribing costs nothing. All subscribing is, is like following somebody on Instagram or YouTube. It just means you get notifications when I put anything new up. Okay, well, thank you ever so much for stopping by. And I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.